Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for April 13th, 2021. Yesterday, we had largely a sideways choppy market and wasn't a big surprise uh, considering that we are just kind of waiting for the beginning of earnings season. But this morning, we have a little hiccup uh, coming in the market. So how about we grab ourselves something to drink? Let's buckle up and let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Well, good morning once again, everyone. Um, thanks for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. Hopefully we get through today without any sound issues or technical problems with the video. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can get some idea how we might want to approach the market for today. Earlier this morning, we had a report that the FDA has asked um, recommending that the J&J &J vaccine um, be stopped for a period of time on worries of blood clots. And that has suddenly moved the markets lower this morning. So let's take a look. You know, it just seems like we have so many tripping um you know, we're going down this path and we have so many obstacles that we can trip over in the current market condition. Uh, that's creating these whipsaws, that's creating these very challenging price action conditions. And if you've been struggling here in the recent market, um, pay attention here because this, this can be a very dangerous condition with us being so extended in the short term. So let's take a look at these um, charts and see if we can gain any information from it. Now, first off, like I keep saying, the Dow itself is in pretty good shape. Um, not in a terrible extended condition. We are very elevated from our 50 day moving average, but we really aren't that far away from surprise, some price support in the chart. As you can see right through here, we could gain a little bit of price support. Now this pink candle up here is the pre-market candle showing what's happening right now in the market and that actually um, constitutes if we were to open with a candle like this and we won't we'll gap down but if we were to open with a candle like this that would be an evening star pattern and would suggest um, some pushback um, could come into the market but since it's a gapping market condition on news um, we've been able to ignore bad news pretty easily in this market it, you know we ignore bad jobs data we ignore bad a lot of things and um, push the market up but let's keep a close eye on that this morning and just realize that it might be a little bit of a painful pullback if we were to pull back to test support or test this trend um, could be a little bit painful if that were to occur. Let's take a look at the SPY. Here's where a real problem I think comes in. And that is um, in this massive elevation that we see in the SPY. We ran and ran and ran here, um, all you know, hopped up on um, a government spending and stimulus. And as you can see, we are a long ways from any kind of price support in the chart. Sorry, that didn't draw very straightly. Um, we are a long ways from possible price support. Now, could there be just a little teeny tiny support in that gap? Sure, there could be a little bit there. But even if that were to occur, that is a substantial drop in price. And that could be very, very painful if that were to occur. Not suggesting that it will, but we're gonna have to watch that pretty closely. Then if we take a look at trend, if I draw off of the bodies rather than using um, those tails, notice that um, a pullback or a consolidation that could take us all the way out into here would not be out of the question um, in any way, shape or form. We are very, very extended in the SPY for the short term. So we're gonna to have to be kind of careful how we navigate this uh, path forward. Let's take a look at the Qs, QQQ. Also in a very similar situation, this short term chart extremely extended. And yesterday we tried, we really gave it a, a an attempt to push on through, but it just wasn't gonna happen yesterday to uh, break on out. But let's watch this closely with this little bit of bearishness coming in and, and the CPI number coming um, before the market opens. 
my goodness, we have these stumbling blocks that could create all kinds of hops and hops and bops um, in the market. So watch that pretty close. Let's take a look at this trend. If we come off of this trend here, notice how far we could rest or pull back. And I want you to take note and just how dip, you know, how far we could pull back just to test some levels of price support in the NASDAQ. So we are very extended in the short term. Lots of anticipation on earnings. Is it possible we could continue to extend? Absolutely, absolutely. But we also have to recognize that fact and not become complacent, just thinking that the market is never going to fall again, not become complacent and watch carefully for that possibility that this could rest or pull back. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM has been doing a little bit of struggling anyway with um, financials um, just kind of iffy um, heading into the um, bank cycle and um, bank earning cycle and um, energy stocks moving just a little bit lower. So keep an eye on that. We've really created a short-term downtrend here in this chart with that lower high. Now we need to follow that through with a lower low to really confirm that downtrend. And we haven't had the energy to do that just as yet. We have pretty good support in this area right here. So perhaps we're just resting here in IWM. We need to find that inspiration and maybe perk up and, and get on out of here. But that J&J &J news this morning is kind of putting a damper on the market here currently. So we'll have to see if we can get past that or um, in some way, shape or form, ignore it um, and push on higher. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX had an interesting day yesterday. The VIX uh, did spike up a bit yesterday, but by the end of the day, kind of drifted back down. So I think we're okay here in the VIX. We continue to run in this little downtrend. That's good news, and, and we have resistance levels above. I think that's good news. So as long as we can kind of keep fear under control, we should be okay here um, overall in the market. What we don't want to see is we don't want to see that starting to spike back up and hold higher lows. So keep a close eye on that if some of these stumbling blocks were to create some issues here for the market. Let's take a look at our T2122. And here's the perfect example. While, uh, while the market was trying to show bullishness in some places yesterday, the majority of the market was moving sideways and down yesterday. And we extended our T2122 a little bit lower yesterday as a result. Now, that opens up an opportunity for us. If we can find some inspiration, let's say that CPI number coming out, if we can find some inspiration, we could certainly move back up here into this bearish reversal zone. So we've opened up that upside opportunity here in the market. The one thing about T2122 is it doesn't tell us which way we're going to go. It just tells us when we've kind of reached an extreme. So T2122 is also telling us that we have a bigger open hole here to the downside where we could fall into if we were to happen to find something to stumble, say, for example, that CPI number. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely um, today. Let's take a look at um, our T2101, which is the absolute market breadth. Now the breadth of the market continues to concern me a bit here. And as we continue to rally, we continue to make new record highs, new record highs, new record highs in the market. Notice that the breadth of the market continues to decline. Now that just seems to be kind of odd to me and we're going to have to watch that pretty closely. And notice that we had um, a, a pullback in that yesterday in that breadth. So watch that. If, if that continues to decline as we continue to rally, a bit of a contradiction there. So we'll wanna watch and um, just stay on our toes. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar does have a couple of things that we wanna pay attention to. Um, most notably is going to be first thing this morning before the market opens, we're going to have that CPI number. Now this is gonna be a pretty heavily watched number. If the number comes in at consensus, the consensus is showing an increase of 0.5%. 
we're probably going to be okay if we come in at that number or anything under that number. As a matter of fact, if we come in sharply under that number, that could inspire the bulls. However, if that number comes in hot and comes in much or comes in and, and jumps above that 0.5, then that could really bring out those inflation hawks and um, inspire the bears here a little bit. So we'll want to watch that closely should um, that come out as a hot number. Um, watch that. Um, and then we've got later on today, it just, uh, I don't know, these Fed speaker, these Fed guys must not have anything to do anymore but go out on speaking tours because they're always out here talking and they have just added uh, Jerome Powell in here for tomorrow um, um, speaking so keep an eye on that we do have that coming up tomorrow that could cause the market to just pause and wait just a little bit particularly after a CPI number um, may wanting to see what he has to say after that CPI let's take a look at our earnings calendar now our earnings calendar pretty darn light today we have um, 14 companies on the list but a, a great deal of them are unconfirmed reports um, may not report and largely very very small cap companies however we do have a couple we want to pay attention to um, Fastenal Fastenal is one of those um, market indicators essentially on the health of the building community um, Fastenal provides a lot of the uh, fasteners the nails the things like that um, that put our homes together and as you can see here um, looks like they have disappointed here this morning we were running into a double top high running into this earnings report and now we have a pretty ugly failure here this morning it looks like we're going to gap down so keep a close eye on that this may also be a little bit of a front runner to let us know that housing is is running into a little bit of a struggle with these high prices so and high material costs so be really really watchful of that there may be some trades coming in the future on um, that housing let's take a look um, the only other stock that i could really come up with as somewhat notable um, CRUS you might want to keep an eye on this um, looks like it has been trying to put in a bit of a head and shoulders topping type pattern here in, um, heading into that earnings report albeit we do have a level of price support in here that could hold us but watch that closely a little downtrend has started to assemble here in that chart so watch that carefully let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me a quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time i post one of these videos and if you feel that the video was worthy if you could please click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow um, I truly truly appreciate it I do read all of those uh, comments I try to answer just as many as them many of them as I possibly can I do a pretty good job of it but sometimes things just get in the way and I don't get them done so thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that it means a lot to me and also um, thank you so much big shout out to those who are utilizing the buy me a coffee link that's just below the title of the video supporting the channel that way I truly truly appreciate it you guys man, you humble me every day truly awesome so how about we take a look at some stocks that are setting up and some places that you may want to be looking for some potential trades you know I got to tell you um, one of the things that has been showing up um, strongly in these charts and remember these aren't recommendations to buy or sell any security but um, I've been seeing an awful lot of action, an awful lot of bullish action in the consumer defensive sector. That is that safety sector here in the market. And take a look at this. We've seen Coke rallying up nicely and we've got this nice little resting pattern in here. Now do have to recognize that Coke is going to be dealing with some resistance highs in the chart and it's going to be reporting earnings coming in here on 19th. So you may want to stay away from it until after that report but i'm seeing a lot of these defensive these old boring companies 
do extremely well here recently. And one of the notable things on those is that they are dividend payers. Let's take, for example, a current trade that um, Rightway Options is in, um, KHC. Now, KHC is, they don't get much more boring than Kraft Heinz, but we got into this trade um, early on down in here, and whoops, me change tools on me right down in here and KHC has just been looking fantastic here in this chart moving up currently we're up more than 40 percent on this KHC position and I think there is a chance that we could actually pop on through um, and completely fill this gap um, in here in the chart so keep an eye on that if you look at this chart daily we're actually setting up another entry into the trade here on that daily chart so it might be worth keeping an eye on that if that finds that inspiration to pop on through um, could be a pretty good looking uh, trade to move on up and fill that upside gap um, I've been mentioning um, the chart here in GM now GM a really nice looking chart holding above this breakout notice we've popped through we're holding it as support we're just looking for a little bit of inspiration to get moving here. As long as we stay up here and hold on to this level, I think there's that opportunity that that could perk on through and move on up. So watch that closely. Really good looking chart. Um, as you guys know, I have been mentioning um, steel um, as a potential trade. Take a look at steel dynamics. Steel Dynamics looking pretty good and it's looking like it wants to perk up this morning, move a little bit higher. So keep an eye on this. Steel Dynamics looking pretty good. This is a beautiful little consolidation in here. Uh, means you don't have to take a whole lot of risk on the trade to get into this position and um, watch for that to move on higher. MT might be another one to keep an eye on. This has been shaping up in here and we know that the federal government is working to move forward on a, um, a massive um, infrastructure improvement um, bill and what that would do um, would likely move a lot of steel stocks so keep a close eye on that looking pretty good overall um, you might want to take a look at Pfizer now Pfizer is once again one of those companies that right way options we're in so I'm biased on this trade and got into this position over here and that is continuing to look really really good and it looks like it's going to extend out this morning substantially so please keep an eye on that now I wouldn't suggest chasing it at this point but wait for the next rest or pullback in that chart with um, J and J uh, running into its problems this morning uh, that may be inspiring this a little bit higher so watch this a little rest or pullback in here could set up a great opportunity and I want you to notice in this pattern um, that we have um, whoops that we have a big resistance level that we have just breached in this chart we've broken a massive downtrend as well so if we can hold in this area up here um, I see some good upside in in Pfizer and some good potential so keep a close eye on that you might want to take a look at KMI now KMI suffered a little bit the last couple of days and it could continue oil has been a little bit oil and gas has been a little bit troublesome here just lately but let's keep a close eye on this I still think this has that opportunity to perk on up out of this little um, consolidating move here perk on up and make it through that resistance so keep an eye on it it's worth putting on your watch list it may not be ready for prime time yet but worth um, watching overall take a look at RTX RTX is um, continuing to consolidate in here and nice little resting pattern is as that moves over here toward trend we may want to watch for that opportunity for that to move on up nice looking chart I got to tell you guys I think we should be keeping a pretty close eye on the financial sector now the financials we know we're going to hit earnings next uh, tomorrow we're going to start hitting Goldman Sachs um, I think Bank of America is in there Wells Fargo is in there for tomorrow and we're going to start rolling through those bank earnings those big bank earnings this week and that official kickoff 
But as you can see, we've been moving up pretty nicely. And you know, the big banks seem to have a really good way, uh, no matter what happens, no matter how much they're losing on folks not paying mortgages and stuff, they seem to have a way to manipulate those numbers and continue to beat estimates. So we're going to want to watch this pretty closely. It is entirely possible with all the government intervention and things, we continue to see those financials move on up. So watch that closely. The, the caveat on this could be if inflation really starts to spike, that could cause a little bit of problem here for um, some of the banks, but watch that uh, closely. I think we should be keeping an eye on Cisco. Now, uh, once again, I have a bit of a bias. Now we pulled back yesterday on Cisco. I am holding this trade and it could fail. It absolutely could fail. But this is one of those tech stocks that has kind of been under loved this year. And if it can get moving here, you can see this nice little tight consolidation. We just need that bullish inspiration to push on through. And perhaps we won't get that today with this um, uh, J&J news today or the CPI news, but it is worth keeping an eye on. So there's a few charts for you to focus on, kind of keep an eye on um, in the market. Be a little bit careful here today, guys. Be careful not to become complacent, thinking the market can never go down. Um, obviously, we've, we've experienced a period of time where a lot of folks are losing money. They're getting their accounts chopped to pieces, um, over trading and pressing um, too hard in, in a market that's just not showing us major momentum. So be a little bit careful um, in, um, in your trading because of the potential whipsaws and the danger that there can be in substantial pullbacks because of the extension that we are seeing in some of these indexes. So with that, everyone, have an awesome, awesome day. I wish you all of the best of success, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one, everyone.